Hello and a welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here on our way out of Bristol Temple Meads here in Transport Fever 2 on board one of our most uh, profitable and certainly one of our uh, busiest train routes, Bristol South Rail, as a sort of uh, opening statement as to what we're planning to do today as our driver and our engineer, our fireman, whatever these guys are actually called back in the day. I'm sure you know better than I do. As they take their important passengers. Oh, 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 oh. Gates. Uh, this is one of those lovely mods that I really, really like. I'm so glad it's been made available in Transport Fever 2. Yep, British style gate crossings. Excellent. Anyway, yes, what are, we, what are we planning to do today? We are planning to make a lot more money, which isn't actually difficult. Um, we lost four, nearly four and a half million last year by building huge amounts of infrastructure over in Wales for the Bristol, uh, for, the South Wales, for the South Wales main line, which was part, I think, of my sort of Bristol and South Wales Union Railway. But the year before, we made over eight and a half million, and this year, we're already in October at nearly six million. So, I mean, this this is uh, an indication of the problem I have with this line. It's overcrowded on the other side. So many people want to travel by train into Bristol from, from Bedminster and surrounding areas that uh, I, I'm just having trouble putting capacity on the line. And I am about, in today's episode, going to be making that even worse. But before I do, a quick heads up on where we are with our existing lines. Uh, the line we were just on, Bristol and South Wales, I uh, sorry, Bristol South Rail, is our second most profitable line at uh, nearly $2 million. Uh, the Bristol Bath main line, of course, uh, out there between Bristol, Canesham, and strangely enough, Bath, <laughs> is by far and away our leader in terms of profit profitability at nearly three and a half million. The Seven Beach line, uh, over here, between Clifton Down in Bristol, uh, out here all the way to Seven Beach, is making very nice money indeed, uh, as is the other main rail line between Clifton Down and Parkway. And Parkway is going to be seeing a lot more building and a lot more routes coming in down that way in forthcoming episodes. Uh, other than that, we're doing very nicely generally. I mean, lots of lovely blue profitable figures here. But if we look at the other end of the balance sheet, yeah, our very latest South Wales main line down here. There's only one train on there at the moment, so yeah, frequency of nine minutes probably is holding it back a little bit. But I'm not going to worry about that just yet. We will increase that uh, the, probably in the next episode or the one after, but soonish, but not right now because I want to do something else today. I want to sort of move away from, from the Severn here, from the Bristol Estuary. Uh, the ferry across the water, uh, which was part of our original Bristol and South Wales Union Railway design. Uh, this uh, ferry service here is losing a lot of money as well, uh, as are a couple of our other sort of related bus services. I'm actually quite surprised. Why is this one, Nailsy, not making money? Because it's carrying no passengers, perhaps? It has carried passengers, so where are they? Well, this this is interesting, actually. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at the Nailsy Circle. So, yeah. Why not? What's Nailsy doing? Um, yeah, we've, we've grown to our full potential. Our ah, emissions are an issue at the moment. 30% negative on that. Uh, charts, <sighs> yeah, you see that explosive growth when we put the rail line in, and then it's just kind of tailed off. That, uh, that's disappointing. Uh, let's have a look at the emissions overlay. Where is the problem there? Okay, yeah. So the station here does appear to be affecting all this residential area here. That is the residential area, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a pain, isn't it? Uh, the buses that we've got in... Actually, just go back to emissions for a second. I mean, it's, it covers a lot of the town, so it looks like... Yeah, the buses could be part of the problem. So how are they 
looking here. I don't want that on the screen. There we go. Uh, how old are you? You're only seven years old, but the emissions are quite substantial. As I say, we're getting no passengers at all. The train station itself ooh, actually covers quite a lot of the town. That might be part of the problem. Uh, we don't want to look at that. We want to look at this. Um, yeah, four vehicles is probably too many, I think, for this. Uh, we have got the whole of the town covered. But, as I said, most of that, most of the people there could, if they wanted to, walk to the station. Again, I'm not entirely sure of the mechanics here, if it's changed since Transport Fever 1. Because the old, well, one of the old rules was, or was assumed to be, uh, if you put a bus stop close to where the people start their journey, and it goes towards where they want to end up, as part of their journey, the next stage or whatever, then they will use the bus rather than walk that much further. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any proof of this. I've not seen a great deal of discussion of this, but then I haven't gone looking for it, so it's no big surprise. Um, if that sort of logic is still part of the game, it should be, I think. It does kind of make sense. And we do have... The, the bus stops here are in reasonably good places, and certainly these two are. But yeah, let's let's get rid of uh, of one of these vehicles. Uh, let's get rid of you, for example. Save ourselves some money. There you go. Uh, that's that. He's disappointing. Backwell, how are you doing? You're making money. You're doing very nicely. But then again, yeah, there's not so much coverage of the town from the train station. Okay. Right, uh, we will. Uh, we may have to come back and address that, but I'm hoping the next start of the plan, the next start of <laughs> the next planned expansion, what I'm planning to do today, will um, improve that. Okay, so today we are going to complete. I hope the well. It's not completely completed, but we're going to do the next main section of this Southern Rail Line, coming out of Bristol Temple Meads through Bedminster. Parson Street to Nailsey and Backwell. We're now going to go down through Yatton, through Whirl, and into Western Supermare. Um, we will leave, I think, the last step out here to Highbridge till another episode. But I want to get to Western Supermare. I want to bring that line in. So, uh, now, I did remember when I looked at this just before I turned the recorder on, I have placed these posts in the ground here outside the station and that's a um, by the plot mod uh, which is where is that is that in an asset thing here uh, I can't remember where I found it now posts ah that's the by the plot yeah so this allows me to mark out an area off on the map into which the AI will not build so it's quite useful for setting aside land for future expansion, particularly for, for railway stations. But I can't build over it either, so we need to delete it. So I marked out those three areas, I think. Good. So let's get our rail out there. So how much is this going to cost? We're going to go to Yatton first, then on to Whirl, and then to uh, Western Super Mare. So we do need, yeah, we're going to need to come around here, I think. Something along these lines. So where are we going to put our station in Yatton? What's our, how does our land lie here? Okay, residential scattered around, but it is at this end. But then we do have this buffer zone of commercial uh, and industrial. So we might try and use that to protect, as it were, our residential, residential areas from the noise and chaos of a railway station. So, Yatton, we're going to use uh, brown trim, because that is our west, great western colour at the moment. We'll have two tracks in there. It's only a small station. Uh, no. So the building size will be smaller. That's what I wanted. 
canopy length medium, that's fine. So if we put this Where's Nailsy? We're over. So if we put this in a bit like that, perhaps, I think that works okay. Yeah. And of course, in here we have got, as you can see, there's plenty of industry around here, so we could add in cargo faci handling facilities into Yatton as well, uh, if we need to. Right, let's get rid of some of these roads. They're, they're getting in my way. Should be sufficient for now. So let's put you in. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go here. We can wipe out that bit of. Yeah, let's get rid of that bit of road as well. Don't want to get rid of all of it. For one reason, uh, I mean, it costs more, obviously, to get rid of all those buildings as well as the road. But there's always a risk that the AI might put residential buildings in there, which obviously I don't want it to do. I don't want residential areas suffering from the emissions. Now, is this in the right orientation? I think that should be fine. Slip you in there. Let's get our tracks organised. We're going out this way. Up to Nailsy and Backwell. Okay. That doesn't look too bad at all. I think I'm happy with that. That's fine. Uh, I have no loan at the moment. I've paid all that back in the few months since you were uh, last with me. So we do have access now to the full 10 million, should I need it. There we go. Let's get you connected up there. And to Whirl. Now, Whirl. It, now, one of the interesting things is which. Uh, is, I'm not sure, again, in terms of his history, how this fits in, uh, but I know, well, I know, as I understand it, the current sort of Great Western main line down to Exeter and the proper southwest uh, is Bristol, Nailsey, Backwell and Highbridge, and Western Supermare is a kind of branch off that track. Now, I think it, it, Western Supermare is offer is generally part of the sort of the main line route that the trains take. But as I say, in terms of the actual track itself, it is kind of a branch, which makes it more interesting in terms of. And it, again, the layout of the towns here makes this more interesting. I think if we put our station out here. Not quite sure how many trains, mainline trains, stop at Whirl. So, do we want to make it a shorter station, perhaps? Could do that. There's one thing we could do. We could end up, of course, having uh, local services as well as mainline. So. I think there's going to be a tight curve into Western, to be honest, wherever we put this. But if we put this there, okay, and some tracks. Yeah, we we we, we may end up doing more stuff with this uh, this cargo system I've got here. But can I? No, I can't. Actually, I want if we. The important thing here is going to be getting close to this industrial site here. Uh, that's an iron ore mine, I think. If we go. Well, this is close, isn't it? We go there and then bend round. Oh, it is a tight curve. 
57. It's very tight. I think if I yeah, let's let's move this station back a little bit. I think is what we will do. Uh, so that's you. You were two tracks. Uh, you were 160. There we go. Actually, if it might make more sense if I can put the track in. Here, so that allowed a track. Does that look about right? I think that should be good. And can we attach the station to it? Okay, right. Does this make the track laying any better around this industrial site? Let us see. Just probably no. <laughs> okay, we go out there and cut. Aha! I think we can do this. I think we can. I mean, I do understand why people say we should have a proper planning mode in Transport Fever 2. And when you're doing things like this, you fully understand why that might be so very useful. But then again, I quite like the risk, the challenge to your finances to actually do this without going bankrupt before you've laid your first full length of track. I didn't need to delete all of that, I think, but there you are, I have done now. Oh, excellent, right, so we've now, I think, got full speed along that entire length. Uh, where's the overlay to, to tell me that? Track speed? Yep, 75. Yep, that's excellent. Alright, so let's get in the inner track. Okay, so we've got uh, Whirl. Right, Western Supermare. I think this is going to be down here, isn't it? And it'll be a pretty much a straight run down to Highbridge. But again, another tight curve coming out of Whirl. There is another station here, uh, which I think is called Western Milton or something like that. But obviously, the scale of reality and this uh, and the game don't quite match up 100%. So uh, we're not going to have that. Yeah, that's fine, I think. I shall make this a bigger building, because Western is a fairly substantial seaside town. A resort, you might say. Right, how does that look? Probably wants to be a bit more straight on. But then the issue becomes getting the track down from Whirl. The train station is a little bit outside the town centre, to be honest, but uh, not, not a great distance. And of course, the, the town has probably changed a lot since it was initially put in. Uh, okay, right, we've done that. So let's get you up here. How awful is this going to look? Not too terrible at all, actually. Doesn't make, doesn't, in, in, on the face of it, it doesn't look like it's making too much of a mess off those roads. Okay, that, that went in very easily. Not too expensive at all either. And I'm losing none of the buildings in Western. That's an Unexpected bonus, that's very pleasant. Right, now this is going to be the end of the line for the moment, so we're going to, to want to put in a little bit of a crossover. Uh, a bit like that, perhaps. 
Yeah, something like that. And signals. And look at this. I've remembered to turn them on one way. Yay! <laughs> it makes life a bit easier and simpler when you're laying down roots. So uh, let's uh, let's do that. I mean, of course, they should all be one way anyway. I imagine on tr on most uh, tracks because trains will only travel in the one direction on those lines. So yeah, we'll put some around here, I think. Uh, perhaps you there and you there uh, and down here. We will want, I'm sure, more signals. Because we've already got three trains doing the line down to Nailsey. So I dare say we're going to need a couple more. Right, that's that job done. So can we extend our existing line? Right, so we go to Nailsey and Backwell. After Nailsey and Backwell, we're then heading on to Yatton, then Whirl, and finally Western Supermare. Back to Whirl, back to Yatton, back to Nailsey, and then back out to Parson Street, and Bedminster, and finally Bristol Temple Meads. That is quite the route. Oops, I do want to keep it actually in view. And you are properly double tracked all the way through. Excellent! Right, that's where you cross over. That's fine. Yep, that is most excellent. Right, so what I'm concerned about is these trains. They are, and we saw it at the very beginning of the episode, they are lovely trains. But they're not especially powerful uh, and they can't take a great deal of uh, they can't take a great many wagons on the back so we might want to increase the, the, the capability of these these trains so it's a top speed of 50 which isn't great and the power is 400 kilowatts so it's, it's not fabulous so uh, let's take, uh, this is train two we're looking at. So if we were to edit you, what wagons we got on there? The six wheel generic. So what we're looking at here is the lovely bright red one, the Midland 8483. So that's what we're looking at at the moment. Uh, what else have we got? The LSWR, London and South West Rail, I believe that uh, stands for. Oh, London and South Western Railway. There you are, it tells me in the description of this modded vehicle. 68. That's a lot faster and is more powerful. Attractive effort is significantly better as well. So I think that's a fair choice. The Greater Britain. Oh, this is impressive, isn't it? Well, that's not quite as powerful, but it is cheaper to run. It goes faster. I don't. <laughs> I said this about the the South Wales line from Chepstow to Port Skerritt in the last episode. I don't think there's any real inclines on this line, and boy was I wrong. Um, so I'm not going to say that this time. <laughs> Although I don't think there are any great inclines on here. Okay, you're really powerful. You go 68. Uh, oh, and described as the most powerful mainline locomotive in Great Britain at the time of its introduction, which would have been 1894. Uh, originally built for freight duties or heavier passenger services. It's a bit uh, weightist, isn't it? Talking about passengers' weight. Dear me, how politically incorrect they were back then. Um, no, I, I'd, I'd like to go a bit faster than 62, to be honest, but let's have a look at our wagons before we get carried away. How fast? You can go 75. Uh, which? You're the generic British. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 
you're the okay. So you you must be different to that one. Yeah, I think you are. Okay. Uh, well, the other compartment goes that you've got a hundred. No, <laughs> you carry eight. Uh, you carry fifteen. These are these are all going far too fast, really. I don't have anything that goes that nice sort of not quite 75 speed, but more than 50 or 60. So it's going to be one of these, I think. I think we're going to go for, yeah, the eight wheeler, 75 miles an hour. So uh, what's our capacity at the moment on these 42? Oh, we'll easily exceed that easily. So. What loco shall we fight? Will, will I go for this one, the 68, 68 miles an hour? I think I will. So what I'll do... Shall I... I'll replace all the trains, that's what I'll do. Let's replace all of them. I, uh, I'm going to need more money though for this, I reckon. Let's borrow... Can we go up to the 10? We've gone up to the 10. That should be sufficient, I hope. Uh, manage the vehicle. That's what I want. Go and replace with the... wasn't you. It was you, the X2. We'll add one of you. Okay, three vehicles to be replaced. Ah, good. It tells me there that I have got got it right. There are three vehicles being replaced. Splendid. As opposed to... Oh, that's, that, that doesn't change. Oh, interesting. Maybe... I'm, I had this, this problem. I was confused in a previous episode by why it wasn't changing all the vehicles selected down here. It could be that it takes this based on the number you select when you first go into the replace option. So if I do that, then go into replace two vehicles. Yeah. So I think you need to have the number of vehicles selected first before you choose the replace option. Ah, good. Right. right. Well, that's interesting. Can you edit? Ah, you can edit three vehicles at the same time. Oh, I see what it's doing. Cute. <laughs> Right, okay, enough learning about how it works. Let's actually get on with doing the job. Uh, so it was you, the X2. So we're taking you. And the passenger wagons. Uh, I think we were going to go for... Actually... These... Ooh, they are expensive, though. <laughs> You're 217,000, and you carry... 18 people at 75 miles an hour, whereas the eight-wheeler here... Oh, carries 15. Oh, that's... Uh, right, that's... that's. Uh, well, for some reason I was reading that as 18. Obviously I was confused by something. All right, uh, do we want this one? No, we'll go for the eight-wheeler. 15, that, that should be enough. So we, we'll take one, two, three... That gives me 45 capacity. I can't make it four. That's disappointing. Okay, what about... Can I make three of these? So if we take one of you. One of you and then one of you ah, it's still that little bit too expensive but not by much so if we get the game running I should be able to rack up more than nine and a half million quite quickly the game being as profitable as it is once it does that we'll spend it all of course, it's now going to take me ages to get to that figure, just because I'm looking at the game watching it. So, come on, guys. Let's hit the 9-4. There we go. Replace them all. 
job done. Right. And these are our sexy new trains, which we have probably used elsewhere on the map. I don't care, I like it. So 54 passengers, that should be good. Right, do we have, where's our... Where are you going? Are you going on? You're going on to Yatton. Excellent. Right, we'll follow you. Oh, oh, before I do that though, must remember, actually connect up everything on the map that you need connecting, like the stations. <laughs> I have no money. Oh, darn. Right. Okay, I have a little bit of money. Let's get some roads in here. Oops, very nearly forgot that. you along there connect you to there and then to there yep that looks okay so the coverage of the town isn't great and we also have congress congressby congressbury i'm not sure how you pronounce that really out there as well uh, so we do need a bus service in here Right, let's connect this road up here to there. Or down here. Quite like having it going into that massive, terrible junction, which will be a nightmare for road traffic. Okay, and here. Ah. Oh. Actually, will a single bus stop here? Yeah, that gets most of the town, doesn't it? How much would it actually cost to build that bit of street? <laughs> no, it won't cost me that much, because I ain't going to do that. No, 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 we're not going to do that. The game might do it for us if we're lucky. So we will just play with bus stops. So we will have a stop there or there. We'll have it here, I think, on that side of the road. We will come into that yeah, down there. We'll have you by the train station. And one here, I think. That should do. Excellent. Right, let's get that route set up. Okay. Gatton and Congressbury. Congressbury. I'm, I'm never going to say that right or properly. But, uh, okay, and of course I need buses on there. Uh, actually, I've got a road depot there that we could use. Oh, that's train line, isn't it? Hmm. To get the buses out there. Yeah, we might do that. Uh, what have we got here for World? We do have a passenger stop here because we have a passenger service out to Western Super Mare. We've had that for quite some time. So I think we could... We don't have a bus station though, do we, as such? We could stick one in there, couldn't we? Next to the cargo warehouse, as it were. Or... No, I don't, I don't think Whirl... I, I don't actually know how big Whirl really is, how important it is as a town in that part of the world. So we're not going to to give it much, I think. Just a little tiny bit of road in there. Link that in there. And across there. I, I like that better, I think. Yeah. Bus stops. 
Yeah, we'll have you on that side, I think next to the train station. That's friendly. And uh, here we go, we'll have you going into the industrial zone. We'll have you going into the commercial zone. I think I've got that the right way around. And we'll have it stopping here as well. All right, another new line. Oh, it is on the same side as the existing bus route, though. It's a little bit annoying. I could turn it round, actually. Put the bus stations on the... Yeah, let's turn it around, because I don't like having multiple routes on the same bus, site, bus stop, if I can help it, really. Uh, so yeah, we're going to we won't remove the existing bus stops we'll we may come back and use them for some other purpose later on okay and there's a double there already so I, I tend to do that right let's go back to the line which we've already clicked on from there around to there to there and finally back around there yeah, the high street here is going to be very busy, <laughs> so, uh, but I don't think that's terribly residential. Is it residential? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Well, people may move out of there if they need to. Right, so this is going to be the World Station Link. Excellent. And finally, Western Supermare. Here we go. Oh, that's quite good, actually, isn't it? Put in a little bit of street along here. And link it into there. Fairly cheaply. Yeah, that's okay. And then on out here. That's a bit of a tight curve, but. Yeah, let's do it like that. Right. Now. The, uh, is there a bit... I, mm, I'm not quite sure where the bus station is in Western. There, there, might, there might be one close to the station. Uh, do we need to worry about... We, mm, we'll, 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 we'll put one in anyway, I think, actually. We'll give, some, we'll give one of our towns a, a proper bus station. Right, be ca oh, careful here, you're about to run out of money. There you go, that'll do nicely. And some proper old fashioned bus stops. Actually, do we need any? You cover that, you cover that. We may not in fact even need. Uh, it probably is worth having a bus, bus route in there. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, that works. So that's the Western Circle. Now, where do we have truck depots? Yeah, we have the one here in Whirl, which we use to build our freight network. Well, and those, that one small intertown bus route. Well, we'll use you. Right, so how many vehicles can we buy for $381,000? Uh, ten, almost ten. So if I buy six, if I buy eight, that's what I'll do, I think. So we'll buy eight. And I think where we're, we'll have... Most of them in, in Yatton, I think. No, we'll split them equally between Yatton and Whirl. So we'll send three to Yatton and Congressbury. We'll send three to Whirl. And we'll send the remaining two to, uh, to Weston. Oh, 
Okay, and that is all my money spent. So what we'll do, we'll wrap this episode up here, I think. As our train heads out to Yattle. With probably nobody on board who actually wants to go down there. Because <laughs> when it left its first station, these two stations were nowhere on the map. How fast are you going? 40. Come on, buddy, you can go faster than that. And I'll start to gradually pay down the loan and speed you up a little bit. Right, so that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, one final thing, actually, before I go. One final thing. You're going to be the first train that gets down there. Now, this was not asked for, and it may embarrass you, but I'm going to do this because I can. I'm going to rename this train the Hague Express after one of the subscribers, a YouTube creator buddy of mine, if you will, Adam Haig, who's done a couple of things with Transport Fever. Unfortunately, his PC isn't quite powerful enough to run it as well as he'd like it to, but he has done some wonderful train sim stuff, including a train sim route from Western Supermare into Bristol Temple Meads. Yes, so you can actually ride the actual route in train sim world whichever train sim it is he's he's done it and it's much more realistic than my attempt here so i'm going to put a link to his video of uh, of riding that line in the description below so you can look that up if you want to and just see what actually the line looks like in reality i was surprised by some of the things that were represented on that so uh, it's an interesting watch to say the least so go and watch that but in the meantime Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, episode of Transport Fever 2. If you have, it'll be great to hear from you. Is there anybody waiting here? It doesn't look like... Oh, there are! It'll be great to hear from you. A like would be lovely. I click on the old thumbs up. But even better, if you've got anything to say, any suggestions, hints, tips, recommendations, criticisms, or anything you want, you feel like having your name or something named in the game, uh, on your behalf then do please let me know just drop a note into the comments box below that would be wonderful this is a lovely looking area isn't it all these trees it's a lovely route <laughs> uh, but anyway uh, if you've also if you've not subscribed yet you can do that now just click on the subscribe button and then you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other uh, let's play series but from me Ajax Post here in Transport Fever 2 until the next time bye bye for now